Local law enforcement say they're cracking down on a trend known as car swinging. The Davidson County Sheriff's Office told us today his office has confiscated multiple cars involved in damaged parking lots. The Sheriff's Office says it has seized three cars that were doing these burnouts. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake breaks down the investigation and how a new state law comes into play. Guys, investigators say they use posts on social media about these takeover events to track down those involved. Two groups have been identified so far, Trey Four Meats and Underground Auto. Now you can see right here, this is a ski mask recovered from one of the cars seized that has a symbol for one of those groups. WFMY News 2's drone captured the aftermath after a takeover in Wahlberg Food Lion parking lot back in June. Investigators say so far, three cars involved in car swinging events have been seized. These cars are from Greensboro, Charlotte, and Forsyth County. Now I want to show you this right here. The car seized from Greensboro had an illegal shutter that you can see covering the license plate. Detectives believe one of the cars belongs to a ringleader who could be facing some pretty hefty charges. Sheriff Simmons says that $70,000 in property damage was done in the Davidson takeover. Now, once those involved are arrested and charged, they'll be held responsible. More than just cars drifting, it's weapons. They've also set our parking lots on fire using gasoline. It's just a whole dangerous act. But we've been using open source intelligence to gather intelligence on the back end to find these vehicles. I uh, foresee multiple charges in the future as well as more vehicle seizures if this continues to go on in Davidson County. Lawmakers have made an effort to show they take these kinds of crimes serious. Governor Roy Cooper just signed into a law a new bill targeting street takeovers starting December 1st. Participating or organizing a street takeover is illegal. The first offense is a fine. The second comes with harsher penalties. It'll be a felony, a class H felony, and it will be the minimum of double. The, the fine will be the minimum of the double of whatever vehicle was seized or used. Sheriff Simmons says another takeover is supposed to happen tonight in Davidson County. He says his deputies are ready.